Welcome back. In midday entertainment news, a former business partner of late Marvel Comics icon Stan Lee is charged with elder abuse. Not good news here. Last year, Lee's daughter requested a restraining order against Kia Morgan, alleging he prevented her dad from seeing family and friends and tried to take control of his business affairs. Morgan faces five felony charges and a warrant issued for his arrest. And are you dreading the upcoming end of Game of Thrones? Oh, I know I am. I can't believe it's almost over. Well, just hang out in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> okay, Disney announced the showrunners behind HBO's hit drama will direct a Star Wars movie. Huh, is it gonna still be rated PG? I don't know. You'll have to wait till 2020 to see it though. And a classic children's tale comes to life on stage when Texas Ballet Theater presents Pinocchio. So you got to come along as the Henri puppet embarks on his quest to become a real boy and a spectacle for all ages. No strings attached. And here to tell us about it, our associate artistic director, Tim O'Keefe. Thank you so much for joining us. And you guys know who this, of course. We've got <laughs> Pinocchio himself, dancer Drake Humphreys. Thank you so much for coming with us this midday. Uh, Tim, you got to tell us, I mean, what can we expect from this? I mean, it's, it's such a production. This is the most technical production Texas Ballet Theater has ever uh, been a part of. Wow. It has flying, we have five dancers that are actors that speak throughout oh the production and they're doing a fabulous job. We have, it's an original score, Will Tuckett is the choreographer, he's done an amazing job of bringing, bringing the story to life. It's beautiful, it's colorful, it's whimsical, and you, you can tell by this. I know, I'm costume. loving the preview that we're seeing there. I mean, it's a, it's a childhood story that I absolutely love being a Disney fan myself. But Drake, I mean, I think about ballet and how graceful it is, but being Pinocchio, you're kind of made of wood. I mean, what's that like? Do you kind of show that in your movements? Um, yeah, it, it was a little weird starting out trying to figure out how to, to be wooden. You have to unlearn like everything you yeah, learned. Yeah, um, but it all, it all kind of comes naturally once you get into the character, uh -huh. into the choreography. I actually found myself being like this oh my gosh. In, in normal life, just trying to get, get into character, so it's been fun. I mean, looking fun. at you though, I mean, you're totally in character. We so appreciate that, because you know, we don't always get people coming into character. And I was asking about your costume. I mean, tell us about that. I mean, just on your face, I mean, the wood there, it looks so real. How long does that take? Yeah, um, our makeup artist, Tania, she, um, took about an hour wow. this morning to, to get all this makeup on. That's amazing. Well, you look phenomenal. We were talking about the nose, of course. As you lie, it grows bigger. And you do have another costume change for that big, big nose. Yes, the nose does grow. <laughs> I think it, it grows something like 12 inches. What? It's okay. pretty amazing. Because like, people have to see it when they're sitting in the audience, yeah. of course, the difference. And, you know, I mean, when they hear the title of the ballet, I mean, you think about the kid-friendly animated film. I mean, what else are you guys bringing to stage? Um, I know that there's, like you said, spoken word which would be kind of nice, I think. I mean, uh, kind of making it suitable for all ages, easy to comprehend. It's, it's interesting how quickly you get used to that. Mm -hmm. in, and and it, it is like the choreographer, Will, said, it is a ballet, but it's not a ballet. It's very accessible. If you've never been to a ballet before, this is a great production to come to because it, uh, it has the different elements almost like a musical at times, uh -huh. uh, almost like a play. Ah. So it's all combined together. He's crafted it so beautifully. And the, uh, like I said, our, our, our dancers that speak, and so it's very difficult for dancers to speak because we don't do that. So right. they have done an amazing job and they've had an, an acting coach. And it's, How exciting. It, yeah, it's been a real, real interesting um, project for all of us. And you were talking a little bit about the orchestra. I mean, I, I think about the classic songs that go along with Pinocchio, got no strings to hold me down. Are they gonna be some <laughs> to that or kind of new scores? It's a new score. It wow. is originally created for, and I know uh, the, the uh, choreographer worked with the composer about eight months on crafting that, and, uh, on, which is so important for a ballet to have mm -hmm. very strong music. And, and it really, if you have that, then the, you can create. I think it's going to be so amazing. And, and there's a way uh, to offer audience experience a little bit more magic this weekend. Would you tell us a little bit about that, Tim? Well, um, we have, uh, before the Saturday matinee, we have Geppetto's Workshop, ah. which is for children to come 
craft, color. We have photo opportunities with a dancer. Ah. So it's really nice for the children to get a one-on-one -on -one with um, some of our company members. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And thanks so much, Drake, for coming in full costume. You look fantastic. <laughs> Texas Ballet Theater performs Pinocchio this weekend, Friday through Sunday at the Windspear Opera House in Dallas, a beautiful venue, if you don't already know. Then it goes over to the Bass Performance Hall in Fort Worth, which is equally astounding the following weekend. For ticket information, you go to Texas.